Hi everyone, coming on to show you my finished project. It is my loaded envelope that I gave the tutorial for earlier. Um, I've got my base and I've got my two pockets here. And I have added ribbon just to help keep the pockets in place because the gusset is a little bit wide if you look at it that way you can just see the gusset popping out slightly so I added the ribbon to try and keep it in place but you can see here there's a good bit of give there um, to add your goodies in and the same with the pockets here there is another Good bit of space for you to add everything in. So I used the Candy Cane Lane paper line and it was this one here and the reverse is that. So I used that for just topping each of my pocket areas and it worked fine. I then cut out, if I can find it, I cut out a section from this paper and on the reverse is that gumdrops. So I cut out a few of these wee houses, the larger ones, because the smaller ones have got the wee candy canes popping out and they were going to be too difficult to cut around. So I decided to opt for the larger ones, which made it a bit easier for fussy cutting. And I've added them in down there and just added a bit of stickles to the snow and to the centre of the gumdrops at the bottom. Not the gumdrops, peppermint swirls. I have added the black ribbon just as decoration along the top here. And again, I have put it over the pocket area just to keep it in decoration. And then I've added in these little glitter um, petals. They are quite sparkly and they match perfectly with what the colour tones are. Up the top here, I have added I'll turn it that way, it should be able to see it better. It's actually a black raw satin, and I had a white um, bow with the pedal on it. Obviously, white wasn't going to work properly, it was just going to make it look too monochromatic. So, I decided to use my um, Berry Red Pro Marker. And I just coloured over the top of the white. It could probably do with another layer. There is still some sections of it that look a bit light. But it's absolutely fine. It'll do perfectly. And I've just stuck that on over the top here. Just as an extra wee bit of decoration. Because there's no pocket there for it to... It's given it a quite a wide space between where the bow is so it won't obstruct anything going in the pocket. The other side I have used the house again and I've also used two gingerbread men from the Cookie Cutter Christmas collection and I've die cut, uh, not die cut, and punched them out. Punched out two bows from white glitter paper um, and I've coloured over that with a berry red just to give it a tiny wee bit of sparkle. I have added a small uh, holographic red heart to the bow and I've just added a wee diamante to the top of it just to give it that tiny wee bit of bling. I've used the exact same paper to add the bow tie to the, the male. So we've got the female and the male. The house is the exact same as the reverse. 
I have added the wee sticker in saying Santa's little helper. Um, it was from a sticker set I had that matched the colour tones. And there is a lot of them on it. Cool Yule, Jingle Bells, Christmas Star. But I felt these ones worked for what it was. So I've got Santa's little helper. I've added those little pearl blings in again. Up here I have created my own um, peppermint circle as you'll see here um, in the paper line. There's quite a few of them and I was trying to make my own version of it. I did try stamping and it didn't work. Um, in fact I can show you the the mess I made of it. It just wasn't working. I did think of using my Pro Marker and um, adding the lines in, but I thought too difficult. So what I ended up using is these glittered strips, and I basically went up and I have went round. I don't know if you'll be able to see under there. I have went round it as well. So that it, they stick down. Sometimes peel up, peel off can peel away. And I obviously don't want that. So I have went round and made my own peppermint shape. The centre is another bit of the glimmer paper, uh, the glitter paper. Um, and I've just punched that out and I've went round it with the berry red. Just to give it a wee bit of colour. And then I've just wrote prezies with one of the stickers because there'll obviously be goodies going in it. Um, so I'm I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. I just need to now find lots of goodies to put in it. Uh, and I'll be sticking with the Christmas theme. So I have now got two and you can see there is a substantial difference size wise um, in both. This one here, this shabby chic one, is a lot thinner, so there'll be a lot less goodies will fit in it. Um, but I can add extra pockets here if I wish. Uh, this one is a lot more substantial and a lot more generous for spacing, um, for you to add lots of goodies in. Um, and as I said, you can see yourself that it does stretch quite well. So I will be adding in lots of goodies into them to give to someone. Um, this is the one that I will be putting the measurements of on my blog. And I have took loads of photos yesterday with um, bits of card chopped down with the measurements on them. I'm not sure what I've done with them there, they're there. So it's like this idea. And I've laid it on top of where the score line should be. So it's nice and clear. But if there is any problems with it, please just contact me and I will try and describe it better to you. Um, if need be, I will do a longer video and show you step by step exactly what to do. I just didn't want it to take too long. That was my main issue. But for covering this, I used one and a half sheets of 12 by 12 and I've still got a full 6 by 12 left over, which I could, as I said, for using like this pocket here with the tear, if you fold that over and stuck it together, you would then cut at the three centimeters a three inch cut it down and then wrap the sides over so that you get that scenario there um and it will give you your pocket scenario but with the generosity and space on this one i didn't need that extra space and I felt this more suited the, the shabby chic look. 
Um, I might actually play with this a little more and try and get it a bit neater. Um, I'm going to add some laces into this. Um, this one, I didn't want to add any lace. I wanted to keep it quite crisp and clean for the Christmas theme. Um, and just keep it that jovial way. But with this being the shabby chic, I want to add some lace, some trims, maybe some of my plates, a couple of wee butterflies, just something really, really pretty and elegant. And actually make the envelope the main project. And the goodies in it will just be an added extra. Otherwise, this one, although it's pretty and it will work um, as, an, as a project, the goodies inside it are the main project for this one. This one I want the, the feature to be the envelope. Anyway, I'm going to go. If you have any questions whatsoever on it, please don't hesitate to contact me and I will do my best to explain it a bit better. So thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.